Ladies and gentlemen, bodies of water, welcome to the Alchemy Lab. My name is Lee. I am playing Cassius. My name is Carl. I'm playing Gracchus. Uh, my name is Matt, and for some reason, it we had a blizzard here in April. Don't know why that happened. What's going on? Who knows? Um, and I am playing everyone else in Mia. Hello. It was 18 degrees here today. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> it was like three. <laughs> I'm not even going to... I'm not going to even... I'm not even going <laughs> to... Last time on the Shattered Lands streets of Mia. Well, the last thing was tea and treachery, wasn't it? We finished it was. up with tea and it treachery. Was. There was a big old fight in the devilish archive. We had that hurt a lot. Yes, yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> we had some epic battle music. It was lovely. Check that out if you haven't checked it out yet. And um, yeah, things since then have uh, quietened down a little bit. So you received, about a day later, you received a uh, package. It was delivered to the Devilish Archive um, and placed upon the bar. A very officious looking man. Inside it was your reward. Uh, it was, if I remember rightly, I don't need to remember because I wrote it down. It was 14 platinum pieces, 200 gold pieces, and Stahl's pistol, Dr. Stahl's pistol. Sort of double barreled Derringer. Not the pistol perhaps you were looking for. Not the bloody one I wanted. I should have specified. Not the not the triple <laughs> not the triple barreled monstrosity. Or the ring we're trying to swipe as well. Or yeah. the ring you're trying to swipe. But um but it's something. And it could be handy in a in a clandestine situation. Uh you've also been shopping, I believe. What have you mm -hmm. bought, gentlemen? <laughs> I, I brought a brass plate because after being shot numerous times by John, I decided I need some more armor. <laughs> Gracchus has got a few more bullet wounds he doesn't like the idea of. My armor too was looking quite uh, rugged and well, ragged actually, not rugged. Um, so I bought some rugged armor, some studded leather. Mm. Very good. And and we appraised our rings. We did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. So, who had the who had the shield and who had the eye? I took the eye. It was the wrong way round, Matt. It was the wrong way round. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Cassius, your uh, your ring with the shield. Uh -huh. You discovered. Well, you, you appraised the ring, and the appraiser told you that with a twist. Mm -hmm you could activate the spell shield okay um once per day needs to recharge still once per day which is pretty good um gracchus the one with the eye uh that one same twist of the twist of the ring cast the spell fairy fire oh fairy fire yes yes and I was really, yeah, you you had the wrong ones. <laughs> who's the one that needs a shield more? <laughs> and who's the one that needs to take more accurate gunshots? Very far is a good one. So, um, yeah, we just go. <laughs> and then just... <laughs> anyway, I've got a ring here. <laughs> I've, got my, I've got one as well, just... It's not. It's not got a. It's not got a eye on it. It's got some. But, it's got a stag. Mm, very nice. And very I'm just nice wearing my wedding. Is. I'm just wearing my wedding band. So. Okay. Which I did not do to him. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> All right. Lovely. Well, we open here. Still in the devilish archive. Uh, it is morning. Uh, you've both had a bite to eat for breakfast you're raring to go and um a familiar face walks into the bar now this familiar face belongs to axel p advent so if you don't remember who that is and i had to watch the thing again to remember his name this is the guy who took you up to tier four in the lord's losses oh. this, this was our this was our dude 
This was, yes. this was the guy you, you forged the amazingly good uh, travel documents for. <laughs> and one of my two new informants. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. I paid for nothing that day. <laughs> Would you like to earn some uh, money <laughs> instead of me paying you? <laughs> yeah, instead of paying you right now, I might pay you in the future and I'll give you a document that means you can get up there as much as you want. Indeed, indeed. Well, he catches your eye, the old the old fella catches your eye, mm-hmm. and he, he strolls up to the table. Ah, Mr. Valentine, Mr. Fallbreaker, nice to see you. You too. Do you um, have anything for us, Mr. Advent? I do, I do indeed. I've got a message for you. I, t- I will back up, uh, back up on tier four, and... Uh, I ran into uh, your other fella, Mr. Arkwright. Arkwright was the fella who uh, drove the cart. Right, yep. Writing these down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Making that of his informant network. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he told me to tell you that there was some, um, he's hearing some odd rumours and reports of some strange happenings on a tier five. Strange how? Well, it's some uh, strange happenings in a manor, in one of the old manor houses. And uh, that's all he knows at the moment. He needs a little more time to get a bit more detail. But he said to pass it to you anyway, just so, you know, you've got it under your hat. Did he say what manor by chance? Uh, no, he didn't. No, no. He, he's not heard that. Uh, he's not heard that information just yet. Okay. Uh, also, I think you'd be be glad to know, I fixed up the uh, fixed the balloon up a bit. So, next time you need to uh, have a sojourn, look me up, lads. So, how much should I be paying him? Um. So you you arranged you've arranged a deal with him, um, where every basically it's like uh, if you if you think you've gotten good information out of him, you, you give him five gold. If if it's uh, you give him like three. If it's like a rumor, you give him like one or two gold, mm-hmm. and if it's shit, you don't give him anything. I'm going to pass him, <clears throat> I'm going to pass him two. Uh, this is for now, Mr. Advent. Should this lead to anything, I will come and see your new airship and um, settle up with you. Thank you very much, sir. And I'll see you two later on. He turns to leave and almost runs into a large orc. It's like, oh, good. Lord. Uh, you recognise the orc as well. The orc is one of the builders. Okay. Who you met um, last time in Team mm. Treasury. Nice place you got here. Our work pays reasonably well when it can pay at all. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go. Thank you, Mr. Advent. And we'll see you soon. He 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 buggers off. You said something about orcish brew in here. I did indeed. Rembrandt, my friend, could you supply our, my good orcish friend here with one of your fine orcish brews? Oh, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Would you want the uh, the fifteen-year-old or the ten-year-old? Uh, I'll leave it to my friend here. Oh, and I'll uh, I'll cover the charge this time, Rembrandt. Right, you are. Um, the ten. I prefer the ten. Let me know what you think. Oh, warm. Warm. Oh, good. Good and warm. Tastes like home. It does. Oh, I've missed, I've missed that taste. I very much missed it. 
Do you mind if I uh, have a seat? Nah, by all means, go ahead. He, uh, he takes a seat, shakes both your hands. I'm Borath, by the way. Rackus. Oh, Mr. Valentine, where is home? My home, my home is uh, Torignac. I don't know if you've you've heard of it. You may I've have. heard of it. It's uh, much like my old home, Torgovan. Mm. Make a make a history check, both of you. <laughs> God damn it! I don't want to waste that this early. That's a natural twenty. <laughs> it's like me the other day. Oh, you hear them coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, mine I could have got a, that with half that. Mine was a six. Hey. Um, Cassius, you're aware that it's an island populated by orcs. Um, amongst others. I'm pretty sure that's where Carl went on holiday. That's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gracchus, you, you know a bit of the history of Torignac. Um, it was a pretty, pretty bountiful island. There was a decent trade. Um, they were, they were relatively self-sustaining, actually, for the most part. They had, um, a lot of druids around and they built their own ships and they were, they were doing okay. And then they got, like, swept away by a pirate fleet. Right, right. Like, they were just, they were just... Gone. Mm. Few a few scattered survivors made it to um to Kalgargarak and to um to Torgorvan as well. Mm. Uh, yeah, but for the most part, they were um pretty much wiped off the map. Yeah, I remember the story from from that. It's never easy losing your home like that. No, no, it's not. And I have often wondered if I've made a terrible mistake coming here, of all places, when I could have gone somewhere with a few trees. But they had to work here, so, you know. Uh, I think, Mary Sir, some of your tribes ended up in Kalgargarak, right? Some of them, yeah. Some of them. I've got a couple of kinsmen down there. Yeah, well, I've been myself. If you ever get the opportunity, I recommend it. The tribes have been doing reasonably well over there. The hunting is good as well. Very good. Very good. Well, I'm here to um, sort of follow up with you on your mate. Really? You've heard of him? Well, the fellow you spoke to before, he, he sort of asked around. Sure. Fellow with a uh, fellow with an iron eye patch. Huh? Uh, sounds an awful lot like the chap who um, fashions the nails and the, the sort of finer rivets and the screws and that um, for our site. Do you know where he's based? Uh, down by the docks. He's got a hut underneath Pier 14. Keeps to himself mostly. Hmm. I um slide over a couple gold pieces to him. Oh, I right. for your time, my friend. Must be a good friend. One of the few I have here. All right. Well then, I reckon I'll be back here with a few of the lads. And we'll stand you a drink next time. Bye, Thias. <laughs> appreciate it. Indeed, appreciate it, Borath. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Mm. Take care, chaps. I've got to get back. And you. And you. Gives you both sort of a handshake and a clap on the shoulder and heads out. I presume we're not doing any renovations, Chris. I owe our friends a favour. But I need to find him first to make sure he still needs it. The dogs outside the devilish archives start to bark. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's about. 
You know my past, Cassius. You know where I came from. I know some of it, yes. Brock was with the family too. Ah. A weaponsmith. He was a hell of a gun maker, among other things. A good friend to have. Indeed. When I the left, bell, the bells go for the. For the <laughs> <death>. <laughs> Not when, that I great, left, no. <laughs> when I left, I made a deal with Brock. I would walk away, but I'd give him an out. I'd cause enough chaos so that he could slip away. That's why I was in tier seven hiding. Seems as though he has made his way out. I'm glad of it, but knowing the family, they'll want him, they'll want him back. And they are... Vicious in their attempts to retain what they believe is theirs. Well, so are you, my man. Yes, that is very true. You don't need to come with me, but I would appreciate the help if you're willing to offer it. Of course, if you'd like me to come, I'll come along. I appreciate it. I grab the last of my drink and down it. Time to find out if this is the right person. Here's hoping. I get up, uh, sling the rifle, sword, everything, and, and start heading out towards the docks. Yeah, have a good time, gentlemen. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Rembrandt, you know we can't keep that promise. Mm -hmm. All right. So... You both, uh, you both leave, and you both head toward the docks. Uh, I think we said it was about a ten-minute walk mm -hmm. to that warehouse, so probably uh, let's say eleven minutes. Let's canonically set it at eleven minutes to the docks <laughs> at a brisk pace. I'm sure we'll get comments later if we get that wrong. I think you'll find it took you, it took you actually 16 minutes to get to the docks at a full pace. <laughs> I'm anything I think you'll find anything um, you, you head down there. Uh, Mid-morning, so not much foot traffic. Um, but the docks are bustling somewhat. Um, perception checks. Eighteen. Seven. Seven and a what? Eighteen. Okay. So the um, the piers are labelled uh, numerically. That was a redundant thing to say. They are labelled. They're numbered. Um, as you so you follow them along, uh, heading toward fourteen. Um, you you pick them out, Cassius. Um, the crowds, it's a little bit, it's bustling, so you get a little distracted by some of the, the folks around, Gracchus. You, you're on edge a little bit, because um, you know how, how valuable Brock would be to mm. the Delano family, who are nasty, nasty, nasty. Um, However, you you make your way along the docks. There are some large ships moored up, uh, a couple of military vessels. You notice by the uh, the cannons on the sides. You think maybe um, the events with Balthazar Jond have uh, caused a bit of a security tightening. Um, so there's sort of a battleship uh, moored up. Uh, a couple of skiffs with uh, like faster kind of airships with mobile cannons on them. They're, they're pretty, they're pretty handy, pretty handy in a fight. Um, as you near P Pier Fourteen, make another perception check. Uh, that's an eighteen from me. Twenty-three from me. Okay. So you see, Gracchus. And Cassius, 
just little curls of smoke coming out from beneath Pier 40. Pier 40 is pretty big. It's like a, it extends out and it's all framed up onto the side of, of the basically great big hunk of rock that Mia is. Um, and you see a kind of dirt path that winds its way down to um, a ledge of rock beneath the pier. Um, and there is a sign up that says nails, rivets, screws, fine metal work. Uh, no name on it, but it seems to be where uh, Borath was pointing. Cassius, someone sticks out. So you're sort of people watching. You, you're aware of Gracchus's, um past to a degree. And you're aware of the danger inherent in sort of crime family business. Mm -hmm. A purple tiefling is leaning on Pier 14. His eyes sort of just dancing around the, uh, the various people. I can't remember if I knew there was a purple tiefling. I can't remember if Gracchus has actually said that or not. You remember that Melora Knightley mentioned a purple tiefling mm -hmm. who ran ah, messages the, for the Delano family. That's it. I didn't. I didn't she, mess, she mentioned it and I rem vaguely remembered them, but I couldn't give them a name. I sort of saw them about, but never interacted directly with them. Okay. Hmm. I think your man is marked. That makes sense. Cassius, you can see that his eyes have taken you and Gracchus in. And I think we have been marked too. Let's keep walking. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can slip behind them? Cause a commotion of sorts. Yes. They're more lucky going for me. I stick out and they'll definitely remember me. You might be able to slip back into the crowd and catch them off. If they're still looking for a brother, I want to know. Okay, we'll make it very obvious that you've been seen and look away. I will dip into the crowd. I um, turn back. Hang on, hang on. Before you go, anything I could say to that he might know? Tell him it's not wise to cross foe breaker. Very well. Make it so, obvious. So, Gracchus, where are you going exactly? Um, my plan is to just walk away from this building for now, uh, back into sort of the crowd. Mm. Um, I'm assuming that Cass would have kind of surreptitiously pointed out the tiefling to me, so I at least know what it is, who's looking at us. Yep. I would make a point of walking not close to, but indirectly past their line of foot, their line of sight. Like they, so I am unmistakably me. Hit me. Like they are. It's and definitely it me. Unmistakably has been seen and has been rumbled. Yeah, like I will walk past them, and as I get to the sort of their general vicinity, I will start to turn my head to look and intentionally clock eye contact, and then try to like quicken my pace. As if it's like, I'm getting away without running. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're actually going where? I'm just heading deeper into the docks. Like okay. into into more of a crowd. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm going to stand out. I'm a massive mm -hmm. orc with a gun and a great sword on my back. It's hard yeah. to lose me. But I'm mm -hmm. hoping it can it buy Cassius enough of a distraction to get behind this tiefling. Or get to a location where he can get this, grab hold of this tiefling, and we can have a few quiet words. Okay, make a perception check again. Uh, just what me? Yes. Uh, that is twenty-two this time. Cool. So you see a pretty large crowd congregating around what seems to be like an open-air bird meat market. So this is like similar to um, by like. Um, by like a, a pier or the beach 
in our in our real world, where they have like a fish market. Fish market. Yeah. Here they have like flying reptile meat and bird meat and things like that. There are still birds around. Um, and it's it's that kind of time, like the the sort of older folks are out, and you know the sort of like perusing the meats. Mm -hmm. You think you could probably um, get lost in the crowd there a little bit. Cassius, what are you doing? I am going to disappear the fuck up. <laughs> Stealth it. Stealth it. Bat. <laughs> Bat. Oh, God. Ow. <laughs> 24. Bong. <laughs> Critical <laughs> fail. Critical <laughs> Critical fail on hand, but a 24 stealth. Um, okay, so... Gracchus, as you peel away, it is as if you... Cassius, you just disappear into the crowd. You, you're it's sort of... You're, you're very good at blending in. And it would be difficult for him to spot you now. Hmm. Um, his eyes are focused on Gracchus as he moves away, allowing you to close the distance. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to close the distance in such a way that I will not be next to him, that he will be near me. Right? Okay. I still can't be seen, and I'm going to send Nyx over, have a little chat in his ear, a little whisper in his ear. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's good. So he's, like, on the pier, leaning over watching people kind of walk along the main causeway. So you can probably get on the pier as well, or mm -hmm. just be sort of near the pier. Yeah. They can't see you. Yeah. Off he goes. <laughs> All right, off he goes. <laughs> I'm near. I will need your voice. Oh, well, I will need your being. Off he goes, warging, warging into Nyx. <sighs> I have been told that it's unwise to cross a foe breaker. Uh, the tiefling. Hmm. So are you, are you aware? So are you watching him? Mm -hmm. As you, yeah. but you're speaking through Nyx. Okay, so you see him. I'm not next to you. No, I can speak to you. I can hear you. So I can speak to you. I see. It's equally unwise to cross a Delano. I've heard. I guess it's a, uh, an immovable object against an unstoppable force. Quite exciting. You are a Delano, or are you just one of their lackeys? I work for I them. don't need you to answer. I know the answer. You are not a Delano. He is a bow breaker. I am neither. But equally unstoppable. And what do you want from me, exactly? I want to know. I am simply standing on a pier, people watching. I've seen some people and some people disappear. I disappeared. So do you. By choice or by force. He, um,. Make an in mm -hmm. make an intimidation check. Not 
one of my best. Uh, 15. He, without a word, he pushes off from the pier and begins to, to walk away and he joins the crowd. And you, what, you, what was that, sir? Goodbye, lovely. Or I've made you an hear a, you, hear, <laughs> you hear, you just sort of hear a in your in your ear as he he walks away. You watch him go. He is he's soon out of sight. Thank you, Nix. Could you find Gracchus and tell him that we're all good to go? Right away, Mr. Foote. Valentine. Shit. Sorry, Mr. Valentine. It's quite all right, Nix. Not again, though. <laughs> I'll try. He, um... Valentine's Valentine's in a catty mood, isn't he? He's in, <laughs> ready to go, isn't he? It's because, you, it's because you couldn't keep any of the secrets you stopped. You tried to steal last time. That's He's why. really pissed <laughs> off about that. He's like, "Fuck it, I will tear someone it's apart." Like, I was <laughs> so close to having some juicy secret, and it got taken yeah. away from me. <laughs> Gracchus at the meat market. You're sort of perusing a uh, the sort of wing meat of a wyvern. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, you hear a you hear a voice in your ear that's slightly that's slightly um, uh, what's the word? Slightly like flustered, <laughs> not flustered, but like he's slightly mumbly. Going, <laughs> um, Mister Mister Phonebreaker, um, it's very it's been dealt with. I just sort of give a slight nod so he can he can acknowledge that I've I've heard him and I start heading back to the pier. Mm-hmm. Okay. You uh, you meet up again on the pier. I see you managed to get rid of him. It was very fun, Crackers. Very fun <laughs> indeed. <laughs> I thought you might enjoy it. He did say that it's unwise to cross the Delano. Yeah, so they say. But I'm still here. Despite their best efforts. I communicate that. Would you like to go in alone? I can send Nix in with you and... Your eyes out here might be useful. You might have been scared off for now, but doesn't mean they won't bring somebody else along. I think he would be in the in the mood to return. So make it quick, and um, if you can give me any idea of who he may bring, I can uh, keep an eye. I okay. If he brings muscle, they'll come wearing dark purple coats, like the tiefling. Very well. It's a preferred color of the lies. It's probably why the bastard got the work in the first place. I'll confirm Brock's there. If he's then if he's there, I'll confirm he knows I'm here. And I'll tell him to I'll tell him to come to the archive. We control the terrain. I feel better there. Worked last time. Once we have that, I'll leave. I don't intend to linger here. Do you want to take him with us? The last time we said our base and then left someone. People turned up. Yeah. That's I'll try and get... Gracchus. It does move quickly. Yeah, fair point. Let us if he's quickly. there, if he's here, I'll try, I'll try and convince him to come with us. It depends how safe he feels. He's been running for the same length of time I have. He might not even trust me anymore. But I'll try. Uh, I head in. All right, and we'll meet... Brock Ironhide next time, ladies and gentlemen, bodies of water. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, 
comment, subscribe, share the video. Hello to everyone on Minds. Thank you for watching. Hello, Minds people. And uh, bye-bye, lovelies. <laughs> <laughs>